often get asked by parents, why is it that babies put anything and everything into their mouths? And there is quite a scientific reason as to why they do this. So firstly, babies under seven months of age don't have the dexterity needed in their fingers and their hands to sort of prod and stroke and explore items using their hands. What they can do though, is grab hold of items and place their fists up towards their mouths. They also have more sensors, um, nerve endings in their mouth than any other part of their body. So for a small child, it makes sense for them to pick something up and explore it using their lips and their tongues. That's how they experience the world around them. So as a parent, it's a really nice idea to give them some great sort of different textures to, to experiment with and get used to. So for example, a clean toothbrush is a really good thing, particularly if it's some of the smaller ones. Um, you can put it in their mouth or sometimes they can grab hold of it and put it onto their mouth and experience and, and feel all the brushes. These uh, lumpy bumpy silicon coasters are a firm favourite with small people as well. They can get them into their mouths and they can really bite down on them and feel all the, the ridges and the bumps on there. And a larger stickle brick is also a fantastic sort of thing for them to get into their mouths and feel different textures on that. So there's lots of things around you that you can use to help expand their experience of different textures and, and feelings in their mouth. Um, on that note though, we do need to be cautious of safety. So it is very, very important that as a parent or a carer, um, the child is in a safe environment. So um, it's really important to keep things like uh, coins out of the way or small batteries. Small parts from maybe toys from older children are also considered a choking hazard. Grapes should be cut into quarters, okay, or not given to a child. And it's also really important to know that the chocolate mini eggs that babies and small children get given at Easter are exactly the same size as their throat um, and they are a choking hazard, so should not be used by children under five years of age. So whatever you're doing, have fun, but please make sure that their environment is safe from the smaller bits that could cause a problem. So this activity is just all about making music and you don't need to have expensive musical instruments to use. Children love just playing with whatever you've got at hand around them. So for example, I have basically readied my kitchen cupboards here. I've got a wooden spoon, I've got a teaspoon, uh, we've got a saucepan and some children like to kind of bang inside the saucepan or you can turn it over and give it a good old look like that. You can try different tones on things. So they start to get an idea of different sounds and things like that, okay? And they will just have loads and loads of fun making as much noise as they 